So, I um, I told Tommy to swing by if he was ever like downtown, work at Equinox, and you're now kind of heading the events locally in Chicago? Yeah, so um, for Gold Coast, which is right now our biggest club in Chicago, Lincoln Common will be the second one. They kind of have a different team that handles their events. Um, but I have taken over the uh, Rush Street Lululemon, the one that's actually in our 900 North building, and then Athleta that's in the area as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so really taking on those big events, whether it's hosting classes or doing like a special event in their space. It's, uh, it's been some fun stuff and I think with you guys becoming like more vegan friendly and stuff like that, it's really going to appeal to the masses at Equinox. And I was telling Ryan, we have someone who's like in their 60s who's using Ghost. My yeah. parents use Ghost, which is some crazy stuff. So <laughs> my mom actually, uh, she was a physique competitor for a few years. So. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah. She, uh, she mom actually much. drinks ghosts. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's uh, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, trying to get you guys in our doors, get you guys at all the events I'm running, especially the ones with like teams like Lululemon. Yeah, I think we can definitely get some stuff churning here in uh, Chicago. We've always said global brand, local approach. Yeah. For us, being based in Chicago, I think it makes a lot of sense to double down on our home turf here first. Yes. Anything we can do, small scale, big scale, whatever, let's just get the partnership rolling yeah. and, and uh, take it from there. I've been in Australia, I flew like 50 hours in the last like two days. You've been sitting here practicing. We're only practicing for like 30 minutes. That was just a, that was just a little flight to you. Okay. Okay. Bro, you got doubled up. You got Whoa. doubled. You got doubled up. More than doubled. I gave you 30 minutes to warm up. Okay. That's my first round. Do I need to be like a 30 second head start? No. You ready, Holden? Yep. <laughs> 30 second head start? No. 30 second head start. head starts. Oh, Ricky. Ricky's got 35K, dude. Oh, <laughs> Dan could hit one trick, though, and destroy your score right now. Dan, finish this trick and beat him in the last second. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've ever seen. You thought you won too. I would rather get beat 150 times than beat Bail on that last trick, but. Ricky was actually so excited to win something on the channel. I don't know. Just didn't win. No. Oh. Pretty amazing how we've been talking about doing a greens product for a while now, and it's like everybody and their brothers going out greens. I don't know if that means we should just stay the course and we're we're thinking the right way. I would attribute it to thought. I think we just put a lot of thought in everything we do, as opposed to sure we could put out a greens product or a basic wine or whatever it is tomorrow. Right, that what makes it different and special. I mean, I think we put a lot of thought into the actual blend of the greens. So it's not only a feel-good powder, as far as like, hey, I'm, I'm getting greens, I'm getting fruits, etc. But you're also getting that, you know, that, that detoxification, quote unquote detoxification, right? And you're getting you're getting the, the digestion aid. So mm -hmm. kind of 
kind of blows my mind that a lot of the other green supplements just have supplement facts panels not disclosing calories or carbs. Yeah. All greens products have carbs, kids. Take us to the promised land, Wilkie. You know, we have brands out there that are just basing their servings of fruits and vegetables off of, you know, off of the idea that there's, you know, 85% water in, uh, in some of these greens, so. So you're saying the folks saying that there's eight to nine servings per scoop are full of <laughs> I, I mean, I like, I like the fact, it's gonna cost a little bit more money, but I like the fact that we're able to actually say, you know, a half cup of kale uh, went into every when scoop. That's yeah. kind of cool. Then yeah. we can trace it back to like the real, you know, one stalk of broccoli. Yeah, so pro, I think pro Ryan Hughes used to count as kale back, back, <laughs> in, the, back in the day. Yeah, but vegetables don't have carbs for Ryan. They don't. Pro Ryan Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, the fruit one, we're, we're obviously going you know, a little heavier here on, on blueberry and cranberry, but the cool thing about that is I think it's going to bring uh, some natural flavor components as well. Um, so the thought is, while well, yeah, they're going to be a little bit more expensive, they're A, really good for you, high in antioxidants, plus they taste good, right? There, then we have, you know, some of the more trendy um, and, and I guess high antioxidant superfoods, so camel camo. Right. The fruit's so nice, they named it twice. Couscous. The food's so nice, they named it twice. So, you know, I'll be honest, I don't know how to say the, that last fruit on the list. Um, you guys can do your best to- Jack or Vital? Holden, come here. Hold Spell it. Tennessee first. Holden. <laughs> Holden, what do you got? Me? Yeah, say it, dude. Um, Jupiter Kava. Jupiter Kava. I had a drill, I don't know if I can beat that. Here we go. Come on. Jabuticaba. <laughs> <laughs> Jabuticaba. I think you were close. I think I'm close. You were pretty close. Looks like we um pushing out a little too hard this week. This is actually pretty bizarre. <laughs> Is this real life? Should I just wake up and just stare at him? Ryan is trying to figure out how to, how to mess with you. So, it looks so peaceful, I couldn't do it. <laughs> that. You should know, you should never be the first one at a party to pass out. Let 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 Ricky. on my face. If <laughs> <laughs> we were to for like another 10 minutes, we both would have had mustaches. First and third. It's mail time! Hey Interrupting the Cubs game is better be good, Ricky. Well, this is a package from Ryan's mom. Oh. Is that a letter? You say a letter, I say love note. <laughs> wow. Dan and Ryan, as we promised, please enjoy this Old Bay vodka distilled in Philly. Okay. Add this to your bar and enjoy with the team. Included some Mrs. T spicy tomato mix. The office looks awesome. We're so proud of you and the team. It was nice to see some of you on St. Patty's Day. All the best. And that XO is definitely for once. <laughs> Linda, thank you. Ryan's mom, Mrs. Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, Old Bay Vodka. Yo, you know what we need to do that we haven't done? And we did it, we work a quite bloody, a bit. A Bloody Mary bloody bar. Mary bar. Yeah. Go sponsor some Bloody Mary bars like once a month that we work. We need to that's pull that in. Salad. Basically, right? Maybe to celebrate the launch of Ghost Greens, we should have a Ghost Greens Bloody Mary. Oh, bar. hell yeah. What else we got, Ricky? Like Some new product. Dan, do the honors. Oh. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. And what I can say, we've already said, is that the mango ghost flavors are absolutely fire. Yeah, okay, well, in the opening box, not so much. But this flavor for us, dude, has, ta has taken on a life of its own. It's yeah. pretty crazy. I mean, I said this before, like look, obviously the mango margarita was the first like kind of ghost mango thing that we did with Max last year. Um, this doesn't have the margarita, this is all the mango and it's freaking delicious. So um, if you were able to snag it and ghost burn, I think it was crazy because the mango ghost burn actually sold out even before the Warhead stuff. Yeah, that was, that was insane. I'm gonna take credit for me posting that it was a great mixture on my story. 100%, I see you guys, it's cool. But yeah, this is freaking delicious. Ghost Amino, vegan EAAs, plus hydration, estrogen for absorption, epic. When's Slosh and Husey? Tomorrow. Wow. Thursday, Thursday at noon. Where's Slosh? Europe and US. Heyo! Progress. Progress.
Look, and there's Ricky with the, with the shaker cup. Look at that. Yeah, I already know this is delicious. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, boys. Cheers, legends. Well, last but not least, because you did such a good job today, and you didn't spill anything, no. and we just love you. And we frankly. just got back from Australia. And we just got back from Australia. Is that what I think it is? We brought you something. Yeah. We got oh, honeycomb, man. white chocolate, and then these new like bite and sip and slams. I don't even know, chocolate hazelnut and caramel, and then oh, chocolate yeah. malt, oh, sticky yeah. caramel. I know you didn't believe us. There's video evidence that we did actually purchase Tim Tams for you last year, but they just didn't quite make the trip. So we'll we'll roll that beautiful bean footage on the channel. A little bit of un, unreleased footage of my boy Hughesy over here. Dude, you got Ricky and CJ Tim Tams, and then you ate them all. Ricky and CJ are inferior to Tim Tams. Oh my God. We had a long night, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little hungry. Here you go, kiddo. Sweet. Thank you. Wow, that was a nice catch up. Thank you. Wow, that's really good. What is the flavor called? Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Chocolate honey. This could be a nice flavor. Flavoring spell? Or protein. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for it. I never heard of a chocolate honey. This is, this yeah, is good. good. But the bite, so you know what the bite sip thing is, right? You ever done that? Callum. Open up the old bay vodka. Callum taught yeah, right? Callum taught me this. Yeah, right. You bite off the ends and you can sip like your milk. Oh. Yeah, you bite off the ends and you sip your milk through it. Yeah. Cheers, Cal. Last but, year last year in Sydney, Dan bit off the ends and sipped his drink with it. Nice. Vodka. Okay. Take these away. Until the day I die.